Oh yeah, hey guy, how are you? Or girl? You're a beauty. Split and Tracks crew. How are y'all doing today? Hope all is well with you guys. All is well here. And I am excited for this one, guys. Today, we are going to go on a road trip. Yes, we are. But what for? Well, we got a couple empty pins. So you know what that means, right? We have room for more birds. Now, we're going to go pick up some birds that I've been excited about getting for a while, guys. And I've been putting them on the back burner for a little bit. But um, today's that day, guys. I got an opportunity. I'm going for it. All right, you guys, so let's go on a road trip, huh? Road trip, road trip, road trip, road trip, road trip, road trip. My goodness. Hey, Frank, we're going on a road trip. You want to go? Huh? What do you say, buddy? Or I'm sorry, Missy? Miss Dang? No, sweetie? No, you got to stay here and watch the fort. Someone's got to stick around here. Hey, Gus, we got to take off for a little bit. Um. I left Frank in charge, okay? So, um, he's numero uno, but if he gets out of hand, something happens to him, then you have to take over, okay? All right, buddy, I appreciate it. Uh. Action, we are on the road. And again. do, again. Again, we do a lot of this. We do a lot of it, yes. But that's... Mm -hmm. Bird nerding. Bird nerding. Bird, and, bird nerding. And due to our recent circumstances, we have two empty pins, and you know we use the chicken calculator. So. Woo! She's driving like a maniac. We just freaking lost the GoPro. How do we blame that on me? So, like I was saying, the re recent circumstances that we are in, we have two empty pins and that's just taboo it's really really bad it's gotten really bad you know there was a time when we had like four or five pins empty and um it was a ghost town you know people would come over just to see like a ghost they would cry they would cry they would cry for the mm -hmm. tears of the empty pens and our peafowl would make our rounds or make their rounds to the empty pens and see they were empty and they were confused they would cry so we're gonna fix it we're gonna fix it with more birds. New birds. Brand new. Brand new. Brand new. Never seen before. Never seen before. Well, yeah, you've seen these birds before, but we're not going to tell you what they are. I just haven't. yet. Oh, you haven't. I haven't. You've seen them on TV. Yeah, on which YouTube is why I picked them. I got exactly. to pick this time. Yep, she got to pick this time. Although, you don't, that's something we got to talk about because I've done a lot of we were talking about the brown eards, oh, and yeah. we even had a pin specifically picked out for the brown eards. Mm. But we talked to one of our bird gurus. He's a fellow bird nerd and just really, really, really kind, sweethearted man. And he had a adult, the trio or pair. He has a trio. Adult trio that he was going to sell, and he was so kind and actually reached out to us and offered it to us first because he knew I was looking for those brown eards. But he called with a disclaimer. He called with a disclaimer. He let me know that his wife was making him get rid of the brown eards, even though they were one of his favorite birds, because they were they were big problem problems in the brooder. Um, he said that they they really really picked on each other like he had to have them in individual little sections in the brooders and as much as the adults were sweethearts and would follow him around the pheasantry that just they were real real pain as chicks but remember we're open-minded here so if you guys have raised brown ears and if they were difficult to rear let us know in the comments if you had problems with them no definitely I'm curious yeah. to know how other people's experiences were but just for this season, I wasn't so hard set on them that I wanted to risk it. The hatching season is just already so stressful and I, I didn't want to take on that challenge quite yet. So 
there's always a big list of birds that I want, so I just went to the next one. Here's the thing too. My wife here, she had her pick of the new species that we were gonna get, and she was set on brown ears, and I was all with her on that. I myself was going more towards Palawans or something of that sort. So expensive taste. So the brown eared I'm not really into it right now, but she wants to move on from her choice of species to what we're getting today. And that's where we're at. So um You should keep teasing them, aren't you? Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep teasing them, of course. Can they have hints? Hey, there's sometimes when I like give away my surprises in my thumbnails. <laughs> Anyways. Squirrel. Anyway, so yeah, we are driving. We're making a two-hour drive somewhere. Go to back. Pick up some birds. Where? Can they what? have a Can they have a hint? Mm, no, because bird nerds are really smart. You give them a hint about a bird, and they're like on it. You know. See, I can give you a hint, and you still be lost. But <laughs> that's not very nice. Yeah, it's it, really true, but not nice. Yes. So we are very excited. We are going to get a new species today. And um, we're gonna actually get a trio. So there's your hint. That's all the hints you get. This really? is not like the model pair where you have to buy them in pairs. We are going to get a species that can breed in trios or even multiple hints for that matter, but that's it. So we got really lucky because it was offered as a pair, correct? And you called and said, please, please. Oh yeah, I called dude and I'm all like, can you, I, wouldn't have made, I called dude and I said, hey, I'll pick them up if I can get a trio. I didn't want to make the drive for just a pair, you know? And tell you the truth, I was feeling kind of lazy. I was like, you talk me out of it, you know? You know, that, <laughs> that is, you weren't very excited about a road trip. And so yeah. you called and he had to give you another pin and he had to be able to meet today. Yes. And both those things happened. And aren't yeah. you glad now that we're on the road? No, no, I'm glad we're getting them. I mean, we have the pin space. It's a new species and um, I'm excited about it. I'm really happy because you said that it will, they, it will, they will, they will be fully feathered by next spring, which means pictures. Oh yeah, yeah. Species, this species, they, they mature fast, so. Haha, ha, I got you for giving them a hint. Yeah. You're well, welcome. Can't give it away. Well, anyhow, guys, we are on the road. We're excited. We're getting new birds. So, um, thanks for joining us and, um, enjoy the view. It's like a magical Disneyland. Oh my god, I got so many white people. Oh no. I didn't know he did so much. What are you? Hello, fellow. Hello, fellow. What are you? Babe. Babe, it says hello. this place just magnificent guys this is like bird nerd heaven right here I mean look at this look at the waterfowl sorry I got the wire in the way guys but I mean you got cranes ducks in here even a silver pheasant it's magnificent well look at these guys what kind of cranes did he say these were 
I forget. Anyhow, they're beautiful, aren't they? They're sweet. Oh, they got some uh, hens in there of something that we're getting. We gotta go over here because this is supposed to be a surprise. Look at, look this at is a beautiful facility, there. guys, right here. Very professional. You can't beat it. I mean, there's even some pens back here. Take a little trip with me, folks. Oh yeah, hey guy, how are you? Or girl? You're a beauty. You know what, babe? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. This is like Disneyland for bird nerds. What do we got over here? Oh, the yolk. They're gonna yell at me so bad. What do we got over here, guys? Ooh, birds for days, everywhere we go. Okay, so now clearly this guy could have sold me an Indian hen, but you know, I didn't want to talk him out of it or, or try to press him too hard because I know what it's like for people to come over to your facility and try to talk you out of a bird you don't want to sell. Totally understandable. As a customer, you're like, please, but as the yeah. as in tour, it makes total sense. So. But so here's what's kind of funny. <laughs> um, when we were walking around and we were looking at everything, um, it was just, Sorry, is the AC too loud? Possibly could be, I don't know. Okay. Let's I know it's that. too bright. I don't know that. It was too bright. Okay, well, as um, you know, the poor guy got his golf cart stuck, mm -hmm. so we ended up with a little bit of time to wander around and look, which was perfect for us. And um, I was talking to him, and he said something about how, you know, so many people that come out to his place compare it to Disneyland. And he's like, this is nothing like Disneyland. I guess they were talking about, because you're like driving through the, the woods in the wilderness. I can explain it. I explained it to him. <laughs> it's like Disneyland because to kids, Disneyland is a magical place where dreams come true. Okay? For a bird nerd, uh -huh. that place is magical. to get to see birds you've never seen uh -oh. before, build up your shopping list. Just shows you the possibilities are endless. Oh yeah. No, definitely Disneyland for a bird nerd. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold on. What did that crane do? <laughs> okay, so the little three month old baby crane that I was just in love with, I went walking by and I spooked him and he goes, <laughs> and he made this adorable little I'm a badass face. It was really cute. That is awesome. I gotta see you do that again sometime. <laughs> Maybe not when I'm driving. Nope. <laughs> hey guys, we're gonna hit the road. Thanks for joining us. Um, we'll see you when we get home to reveal what we got. guys that was a very very long exhausting drive you know and um, I guess I shouldn't feel bad because I didn't do the driving my wife did but I had to sit in that seat for a long time <laughs> anyways guys thanks for joining me once again if you want to see what birds we got please check out our next video what wait 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 wait! don't go I was just kidding I'm not gonna make you guys do that let's go see what we got Ooh, what have we got in there, Thelma? Should I let you guys know what it is now? Or when I release them? I think I'll release them. I'm gonna put them in this pen right here. Just kind of hold them in there for a while. Let's go. Come on. Come on. What's up, buddy? There we 
we go. All right. Well, here's what we got, guys. A trio of Reeves. We've been wanting to get some Reeves for a while. And like me and my wife stated earlier, we wanted to get some brown ears, but, and that was her choice, that was her species that she wanted to get, but she changed her mind. And now we got some Reeves. Now originally I wasn't going to get these because the guy only wanted to sell them in pairs, but I asked him, or I told him I'd come get them if I could get a trio. He said he was cool with it, so here we are. And they're just going to be in this pen, just for a short time. This is one of our old holding pens, so. Yeah. They got some growing to do. Missing some feathers. Definitely missing some tail feathers. Yep, this is a young uh, 2024 hatch right here. Alright, I'm going to get out of here and let these guys settle. Let them get something to eat and drink and come back and pay my visit later. And just like that, we got Reeves now. Aren't you excited? I'm excited. The whole pheasantry is excited. And especially the peafowl, they're excited. They're over there scoping them out right now, see what they're all about. You know, they have to investigate. That's what they do around here. They investigate everything. Yeah, so we're working with Reeves now. Pretty cool. How about that facility, huh? Wasn't that freaking amazing? There was so much to see there. I, I couldn't get it all in one video, but hopefully I got good enough content for you guys. You know, there was just so much to see there. And, um, yeah, just thank you guys for joining me and me and my wife on this one and uh, our road trip and adventure and how we bounce ideas off each other. That's always fun, you know. Thanks again for joining us. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you like content like this, if you like bird tripping on a whole new level, we're your peeps, yo. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to close this one out. Appreciate you joining me and uh, continue watching because we always love when you guys join us on our bird tripping adventures. Until next time, guys. Bye.